Lee Structural Wood specializes in laminated scaffold planks that are marketed under the trade name Lee Light. An innovative process that consists of making scaffolding plank with small dimension lumber by end jointing and edge or face gluing these pieces to form large panels that are cut into individual plank. Since 2000, Lee Structural Wood has been a leader in wood engineered products for outdoor structural application. A team dedicated to making a high quality, sturdy plank that meets U.S. national standards for scaffolding use. The making of a high quality plank starts by sorting the raw lumber. An operator carefully inspects each piece of lumber. Only lumber that meets the structural grade is accepted in the process. All other grades are rejected. The lumber is end jointed with a structural exterior use adhesive that complies with U.S. national standards. Each finger joint is cut and assembled with precision in order to maximize strength. The finger jointed lumber is stored in an accumulator to let the glue cure before going on to the second half of the process. Great care is taken in preparing the finger jointed lumber for edge or face bonding. The faces are resurfaced before applying the second adhesive. This adhesive meets U.S. national standards for structural exterior use. Once there are enough pieces to form a panel, the lumber is put under pressure to ensure a solid and durable bond. After curing, the panels are cut into individual plank according to the specifications of the customer. Each plank is tested using mechanical stress rating machine to ensure that only planks that meet scaffold standards are sold as such. The mechanical stress rating machine verifies that each plank meets OSHA regulations and the ANSI standard safety requirements for scaffolding. The mechanical stress rating machine verifies the strength of each plank and takes a measurement every four inches along the length. The planks are then evaluated according to the average strength and the lowest reading obtained. In order to meet the scaffolding grade, both the average and the low point values must be above the limits established. Planks that have passed the mechanical test are visually inspected for any defect that may affect plank performance. Each plank is embossed with several markings including the day it was produced, the standard that it was evaluated to, and our third party inspection agency's logo Skid resistant profile is machined to the plank surface to provide maximum traction. The corners are cut at a 45 degree angle. Metal pins are inserted and a sealer is applied at each end to prevent splitting. Before shipping the final product every lot of production is submitted to the quality control tests. The quality control program consists of seven tests done daily on each lot of production. All of these tests are done on state-of-the-art quality control equipment located at the plant. The quality control program is monitored by Intertech Testing Services. Intertech Testing Services is an internationally recognized testing, inspection and certification agency their marks of conformity are recognized throughout the world as being consistent with quality and safety. The mark used on engineered wood products is their Warnark Hersey mark. Products authorized to carry this mark have been tested to and have met the requirements of a recognized product standard. The manufacturing site has been audited. The applicant has agreed to a program of periodic factory follow-up inspections.
More precisely, the daily quality control tests are as follows. For each hour of production, a finger joint is tested and each piece must meet the strength criteria set by the quality control program in order for the finger jointed lumber to be used in a structural application such as a scaffold plank. A weathering test is performed on the finger joint to ensure that the glue lines are resistant to water. This test consists of soaking the samples in water by placing them in a pressure vessel full of lukewarm water and applying a vacuum for half an hour followed by two hours of pressure. The soaked samples are then dried at a temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit in a cross-flow oven with air circulating at 250 feet per minute. At the end of one cycle, each sample is carefully examined for evidence of delamination. The edge or face bond is submitted to the same weathering test. The samples are also carefully examined for evidence of delamination. As additional safety insurance, a full-size plank is tested on an 8 feet span on the bending machine, located in the Quality Control Plant Laboratory. This test verifies the values of the inline mechanical stress rating machine. A 42 inches long plank is also tested on a 34 inch span as well as a weathered 42 inch long plank to verify how the product react before and after being exposed to water and heat. The certification process for Lee Light scaffold planks was conducted under the supervision of an Intertech Testing Services Inspector at the Plant Quality Control Laboratory. After testing numerous specimens, the data showed that the Lee Light plank met all scaffold requirements for safety and durability. At that point, Lee Structural Wood was authorized to apply the Warnock Per Z mark solely on planks that meet the scaffolding requirements. On a monthly base, an inspector visits the plant to ensure that all required tests are done according to the quality control manual and that all the results meet the requirements. Lee Light scaffold planks are designed for maximum strength, safety and durability. When purchasing Lee Light scaffolding planks, you can be sure that they meet or exceed widely recognized national standards. With proper care and handling, Lee Light scaffold planks will provide an excellent working life.